Hello, hello. If you're here, you're probably wondering how to remove the little vents in your EXP, LN7, Escort, or Lynx. Um, so, I set this one up already to pull it out. Um, so, you know, if you have a first gen, this is what your vents look like. Um, you know, uh, 81 through 83 models all had the style dash. They all have these style vents. They have one on each outer side. Um, so, you know, one here, one on the other side of the steering wheel. And then if you have air conditioning, you'll have one on each side of that um, each HVAC control panel. So, uh, there's not much all to these guys. They're pretty easy to remove. Um, I'm, not gonna, I'm not going to click it in all the way, but that's... Uh, when you have them in there, I found that the best way to remove them is slide a small flathead screwdriver underneath the entire assembly, pry up just a little bit. And while you're doing that, take a really fine flathead screwdriver and sneak in underneath this tab that's popping up at the moment. You have to do that on the bottom, and then you do the same procedure on the top. And then once you wiggle it out like this, it'll just slide on out. Um, and while you're doing that, uh, remember once you pop the tabs up, you'll want to tilt it out. So then when you're working on the other end, it doesn't sink back into its little hole. Uh, not much to these guys, just know that the small hole goes on top. Or I'm sorry, the, the small post goes on top and the big post goes on the bottom. And you'll want to leave these felt pads on here. It's what keeps it from rattling uh, in the car as you go down the road. Removing the the bezel that they go into is also pretty easy. Again, you grab a flathead screwdriver. You, you can do this at two ways. You can go at it from this angle, pry up, and uh, if your screwdriver is the right size, it'll peel up like that. Um, and once you do that, you'll want to stick a screwdriver in there to hold that tab open while you get the other side. Because you'll need two hands to do each one of those tabs. And you have to do two on one side before you can tilt it out some, and then you'll have to do the two on the other side. Um, so it's, it's not, it's not hard. Um, but it is a little tricky, so you, you, you do have to uh, manipulate these guys quite a bit. And uh, you just have to try not to break them. Uh, but it's, it's a fairly soft plastic, so you, you can pull it out as far as you need to, and a little bit further if you really want to. I uh, just can't go, just can't expect to uh, bend it out 45 degrees or it will snap. Uh, s same rule with the bezel as with the uh, the louver piece. Big pinhole on the bottom, small pin on the top. So if you try putting this back in upside down, it won't, for me, it never works. Uh, if there's a will, there's a way, but uh, it will go in easiest when you have it the right way up. And that again is a uh, big, big hole on the bottom, small hole on top. And then disassembling the vent piece isn't too hard. You can see that there's two little alignment pins on each side. So pretty much all you have to do is just grab a, a smaller flathead, poke it in each corner, which moves the pin out of the hole. And uh, again, you just, once you have it pried out a little, you grab it and move it up to do, do the same on the on the next peg of the same side, pull it up, and then do it again on the other end of the loops. And then once you do that, these will split out. All these vents will, will fall to the ground, same with the linking bracket, or linking arm. Um, and then re reassembling is kind of a pain because you have to hold it all you have to hold the assembly as one, and then slide it inside the, the square, the, the rectangle uh, 
this uh, cartridge that all sits in. Um, if one of these is broken, uh, meaning that, say, out of this entire unit that I'm holding in my hand, just the one, one of these vents is not moving, say, that this this vent second from the top isn't moving when you try moving all of them up and down. Uh, on the ends of these, there are three, three little pins. There's one in the center on each side, and then you can see on the on the, the I'm holding it upside down. There's two pins in the center, and then on the right here, there's a pin on the bottom right corner of each of the louvers. And those guys have little pins that go into the um, the actuator arm. You see that move up and down some if you look at that font. That's what links all these together. So if you've broken a peg on one of your louvers, um, the set will move without that one, the one fin. What I've done uh, and that's really effective is you have to disassemble it like I said uh, which isn't too hard and like I said putting it back together kind of stinks but uh, you take it all apart and you find the one that's broken and what you can do is you can just put uh, you can build up super glue where you need it to and then once it's cured for like overnight or whatever you can file it down till it's the same profile as all the other pins um, sometime I'll have a video on that because I've done it twice. I'll need to do it one more time on one of my sets. Uh, but these are fine, so I'm not going to monkey with them. Uh, we'll just leave that at where it is. I'm going to... I need these for a different car, so I'm going to t pull them out, clean them, and then paint this, this border silver so it looks all snazzy inside my car. So, um... You know, keep an eye out for that video, and good luck, be gentle, uh, take your time, they're not too hard. Um, you know, as long as you don't force anything, you'll be fine. So, yeah.